Now this uh, this comes in. Laquan Treadwell in year two. Uh, Mike Zimmer expects more. Uh, no kidding. He had a catch yeah. last year. The bar is uh, the bar is I, low. I would imagine uh, for more. I would imagine that they would like to expect more than a catch. Yeah. Uh, you tweet. I saw you tweet out a video. I don't know if maybe you were watching another wide receiver, but oh yeah, I was. So did, were you doing some reception perception or just looking at Treadwell's film from last year? I was not looking at Treadwell's film because there's not uh, much to look at. But but right. what I was doing was I was charting Stefan Diggs and I actually put a graphic out about Diggs and how his success rate versus coverage in his year one and year two has related to the NFL average and how he's progressed a little bit from year one to year two. But while I was charting Diggs, I I, I noticed to be one. Treadwell catch and was like, well, at least it was on a nice little dig route there Got that it. he ran. Um, but yeah, just so I just watched I just watched uh, Stefan Diggs and I think that brings us to a point here about Treadwell. For one, yeah, a lot of people a lot of people have asked me on this recent podcast tour that I've been on, like, what do you expect from Treadwell? You know, you liked Treadwell coming into last year. Reception perception showed pretty well for him, and that is true. But to like to, at this point, after a one catch rookie year in a in a situation where there should have been some opportunity, yeah. I, I just don't know how you can really say anything with certainty at this point about Laquan Treadwell. Like. All bets are off at this point, and we need to just kind of expect anything. Like, but that also brings me to, to my next point, too, that I don't really think there's a lot of opportunity in Minnesota anymore because Stefan Diggs, to me, is a future superstar. Mm-hmm. I love Diggs, and we're actually going to talk about him later in this podcast in the question section. Cool. Teaser. Um, but... I, I think Diggs has not put it together completely statistically yet. You know, they moved him around a little bit last year, but in, in games where he was like an actual outside receiver for the most part, I mean, think about that week two game against the Packers, his week one game against the Titans. Um, when he was 100% healthy last year, he was awesome. Yeah. And his reception perception is fantastic. Like I said, future superstar. Then you see Adam Thielen kind of start to emerge at the end of last year, and I think that was a legitimate, you know, breakthrough moment for his career so at this point we're looking at like maybe Treadwell is their primary X receiver while they move Diggs kind of into a flanker slot role and then uh, Thielen is the number two receiver on the outside and it's just not a lot of opportunity there for Treadwell to be more than like a tertiary number three receiver yeah so all right They're hipsters, but I'm way more hipper.